Hey guys, this is uh, Justin or Space Kid four hundred seven, with a uh, with another iPod, with with another iPod, <laughs> with another iPod Touch app review. Sorry, that was just my dad screaming downstairs. The Giants must have done something good, and um, so I've got another iPod Touch app review, and uh, this one is also one that actually kind of pairs with your computer, and it, uh, people like. They take around a flash drive usually so that they can transfer files, but a lot of times a flash drive is not big enough because flash drives only go up to like maybe 8 or 16. But this app will actually allow you to have to use your iPod Touch as a flash drive so that you don't have to bring a flash drive with you. And there's a couple downfalls to this app. This app works on Wi Fi, obviously, so uh, it can be a little slow when transferring large files, but it is wireless. And um, it does cost two dollars, so that's a pretty profound investment, I guess, if you want to say. If you do a lot of transfer and you don't want to buy, pay forty extra bucks, you can pay two extra for a flash drive from your iPod. But then again, this iPod is at least two hundred, so <laughs> it's just a nice little thing to have. So, anyways, here it is. It's called file sharing, and um. So I'll show you how it works right now. So this is so what you do is um, right now the, the uh, when you click on the app at first there's like nothing on the screen you have to uh, set it up. So what you do is uh, you go if you're on a PC you have to go to like my computer and you have to right click on something and press like connect to server or like connect to external server device I don't remember how to do it on a PC but if you're on a Mac what you do is you go to the finder you um, can do one of two things you can either press go and go to uh, a connect to server or you can easily just press command uh, command K so I already have it inputted right here so this is already the imported thing so what you do is you type in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash, you know how to do that. Then you type in your IP address, which mine for the iPod Touch, uh, 0251. And then you type in your IP address and you put colon 8080. And um, in case you're wondering how you find this out, you go to, um, I think you go, you press the little, yeah, you right here. It's the second one from the left, the second little button you can't really see on the webcam. It's the little cog, the settings, and it says right under the sharing, it says connect to this device at HTTP, and it shows you your IP address. So now what you do is you connect, and um, so the little folder will appear right here. And what's in this folder is what is on my iPod Touch, but so obviously there's nothing. So let's go ahead and put a video on here. So let's just say. Uh, let's just add a photo and you can see the transition so when you add to here you can see that it's now added to here and uh, you can put this on another computer and it'll act and basically a flash drive and you can just transfer it to another computer but since this is based on Wi-Fi and complete internet use you can actually um, do this from a web browser so um, what you do is you can log on to your web browser Mine obviously is Safari, and what you do is you just do the exact same thing you did on uh, in the connect to server. So you go HTTP colon forward slash forward slash one nine two for me one six eight one six eight zero two five one colon eight zero eight zero, bam. And um, for some reason, there is one thing I found about the. Uh, online version that's kind of messed up it like sometimes it like recognizes that you still have some deleted files on here I don't know why it does that but you could simply just click on a file and you'll see that it downloads it right away or at least it's trying to open up the picture it's 10 megapixels so it takes a very long time and so that's about it so yeah so this could be a very sound investment you can choose for yourself but there we go, screaming again. So, um, 
So, uh, that's about it for the app. It's pretty much just a flash drive for your iPod. Hope you enjoy and hope it helps you out. Thanks.